Hello, this is Abhishek Gade and today we will be talking about fixed gradient boundary condition in open foam. So let's start. So the prerequisite to watch this is you should have watched the video on zero gradient boundary condition in CFD or open foam. So here I'll be directly writing the discretized terms but if you want to know from where did it came so everything is there in this video. Okay. So what is a fixed gradient? So the normal gradient will be fixed at the patch at the boundary. The, the fixed gradient is an implicit boundary condition. What does that implicit mean? That means this boundary condition will be dependent on a variable which is going to change. Okay, so that variable is still going to be calculated and is present in the matrix. So the boundary is dependent on some inside variable, the phi variable. So that means it is implicit. It is not clearly expressed, not an explicit, but uh, implicit boundary condition. And while calculating the fixed gradient, again, we are going in the direction perpendicular to the pitch. And this is a type of Newman boundary condition. No time. So yeah, that is steady. So this this is given as fixed gradient expression that del phi by del n, the gradient at boundary is fixed given by GB. So GB is some value and it is given, it is fixed gradient. So how to use it in open form? So we mentioned the patch name and then in curly braces we in the curly brackets, we'll write type fixed gradient and we will mention the value of that gradient down. So this is how uh, we'll implement it in uh, open form on which patch we want to mention this. Okay. So next is the discretization of Laplace term at boundary. Now, I have directly mentioned here the equation that was discretized in that video of zero gradient boundary condition. So here is the final expression. Gamma B magnitude of SB del phi by del N at boundary B. So this is gamma B is diffusion coefficient. This is the face surface area and this is the gradient at the boundary. And yes, we can see here. So, okay, some uh, things to uh, note that this in this picture this is the face and this is the boundary itself the patch at the center will uh, have the value phi b some variable phi and the same variable here nearest cell center would be phi p and the distance between them would be distance d magnitude d and the face surface the normal pointing towards from that area, the face surface normal would be SF. Okay. So yeah, now let's apply the fixed gradient boundary condition. As mentioned, uh, it is equal to GB, some value. Now the thing to notice here is the gradient is already mentioned. Phi is of no use now. The Actually the gradient itself is mentioned. So nothing will be there in this matrix in the coefficient matrix on the left hand side because there is no multiplication with phi term as you see directly the gradient is men mentioned means it will directly go into the source terms in the source matrix and there would be no contribution of this term in this uh, this matrix okay so the coefficient matrix now let us talk about this gradient uh, as implemented in open form. So we can write this equation. So this is uh, the general equation and this is how we implement in open form. We write it in the terms of gradient internal coefficients and gradient boundary coefficients. So gradient internal coefficients, what are they? Um, because nothing is dependent here as you see this matrix that this is going to be zero so this also should be zero and yes we can see here the gradient internal coefficients is set to zero in open form code then what is cgb 
CGB has some value. Yes, the gradient itself is CGB. So if we compare these two equations, so CGB itself is GB and that is how uh, here in the gradient boundary coefficients we implement it like okay we are returning gradient uh, this is how uh, the final thing is there so how it is implemented in the code so having done this Laplacian term let us move on to the discretization of convective term at the boundary again we have 5b and 5p and this is the final discretized term so fb 5b at the boundary fb is nothing but the flux at the boundary and 5b is the value of variable at that boundary and now this is directly written uh, if you want to know how it is derived from where it came go to the zero gradient boundary condition video again so let's apply fixed gradient boundary condition so as you can see once you understand one boundary condition all the other boundary conditions you would easily we can easily understand by looking at the code itself so that that is how easy it is but first we should understand the basics and yeah so let us apply the fixed gradient boundary condition so we have this gradient and that is equal to gb so we are opening it 5b minus 5p upon the magnitude distance d between them so 5b and 5b is at boundary and 5p is the cell center the neighbor cell center now d will go here the magnitude d will go here and 5p would be in addition so it would be 5b is equal to 5p plus gb magnitude of distance d okay so now let us uh, because we want fb 5b so again just multiply this whole term with f or all both the terms with f and this is what we get now we'll see it let's open the bracket fb 5p okay and fb gb magnitude of distance t okay so we see something is connected with 5p which is going to be solved actually and something is explicitly also mentioned okay so that 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 thing will go into the source term and this fb that is going to go in this matrix so now both this matrix the coefficient matrix the diagonals in the coefficient matrix as well as the source terms both on both of them this fixed gradient boundary condition while this uh, this convective term after discretization of the convective term we see both uh, this is going there so yes the convective term is dependent on both of uh, both this matrices so in both of them there would be a term and yeah that is the new thing we came upon right now so this was not the same case as zero gradient so see all the boundary conditions are different and now that is how we have to implement let us check it with how it is implemented in open form i say it like this so let us compare this equation with this where cvi is value internal coefficients and CVB is value boundary coefficients so let's check it so 5p would be okay 5p is here so CVI would be 1 directly we uh, we can check from here just compare and CVB would be GB magnitude of distance t let's see if uh, it is the same way how we open form has implemented yeah so this is the value internal coefficients and yes we can see one is mentioned that means that cvi value would be one correct now cvb value boundary coefficients let us check so value boundary coefficients and cvb should be gb uh, multiplied by distance t oh but what can i see here is a division so first time when i saw again i was not able to understand it but no understand this delta coefficients is one upon distance so that one upon d that d would go up upon upon so that d is going to go up and it is going to get multiplied with the gradient this is uh, because delta coefficients is defined as inverse distance inverse distance means that d is going to go up and it will be multiplied with gradient so g b d so yes c v b also obtained so this was all about fixed gradient boundary condition.
uh, if you like this video please support me at the paypal and yeah thank you